Hey, today we're going to be taking a look at the Panda Z robot from Mega House, whether it's any good and if you should buy it. So just what in the world is this crazy panda robot thing? He's a take on the very famous Mezinger Z or Mezinger Zetto robot creation by Gonegai. Each episode is about five minutes long. They don't take very long to watch. There's only about 30 and the whole series ran in 2004. More on the other characters that fill out this universe later. The box they come in is very true to color. It's a nice looking little box, nice and solid. It's about six inches tall, seven inches wide, three or four inches deep. It also comes with this pamphlet inside. Of course, it's all in Japanese. Nice double sided. And it just shows you how to put things together. Not that you really need it, but it's still just a nice little thing to have. The box is actually pretty cute. I like the little printed on screws on the corners that kind of help give it that little flair. Anyway, you just take out the styrofoam from the end, take off the top, and all your pieces are living very happily inside. Originally, each piece comes wrapped in a plastic bag to keep it safe, but I took them off for the purposes of this video, just so that you can see better how they live. In addition to the version that I have, Mega House also created a limited edition perfect model. Say that five times fast, because I had a hard time saying it once. It comes in silver or it comes in scarlet, and they're both super cool. If you can get your paws on either one of those, I strongly recommend that you could do that if you like this toy at all. Okay, and I'm sorry here, but I'm going to massacre these names. There's also Jangulary, Hamujiro, Mugu, and Black Ham. Black Ham I could do. Not like do, but pronounce. I can pronounce. Let's take a look at what comes in the package. You've got two fists, one main robot, one pilot, and one winged rocket thing. You just snap the fists onto his arms and then the arms move. We'll talk about how those sound a little bit later in the video. If you take a closer look at the fist, you can see the springs inside. You can see a screw a little bit here on the bottom side. Luckily, it's the same color as the fist. You just have to make sure that you line it up, line it up, line it up. There we go, so that it will stay onto his arm. Our little pilot figure is pretty good. He's not perfect. His arms don't move, his legs don't move, his scarf doesn't move, and there are some little seam lines here and there you can see, but overall the painting is pretty clean. It's nice and pretty. There's a little bit of pearl, so all in all I'd give him a good 8 out of 10. The thing about the pilot though is if he's not sitting actually in the cockpit, he doesn't sit up on his own. He has to be in this cockpit to sit. He's kind of very, very tipsy, kind of like a drunk Uncle Larry or something. He just, he's not good on his own and he won't stay on his own. Let's take a look at the cockpit. It is very cute. There's all these details in it. It has these little joysticks and they're both movable, but they're not really intended to move very well. So they're basically like a hard plastic, and I'm pretty sure that if you started playing with them a lot, you'd probably break them. The same can be said for this chair handle or whatever the heck this thing is. In order to put the panda into the robot, all you have to do is drop him into his seat. However, because there are no magnets or anything holding him in correctly and because he is so tipsy, sometimes you have to drop him in more than once so that he sits straight. Otherwise, he's like super cockeyed and you wind up having to move him around a whole bunch. On the rocket pack, this black wing on the back is a rubber and it is flexible, so that's nice. That So if you do bump it, you're not going to break it. It is permanently attached. It doesn't come off. The other wings as well, they're permanently attached. You can see the magnet on the inside and that's how he attaches to his body. There is a space there underneath the magnet 
that's sort of a circle so that way you can have the button on his back that makes his rocket pop out in or out and this rocket pack will still fit on the body. The paint on the rocket overall is really nice. It doesn't perfectly match into all of the little crevices. But it's a little weird to have the gray rocket parts just be this weird flat gray and the casting is not perfect on there. I see some just paint errors on there but overall it's very clean. These red wings are attached to this rocket piece. They're just gorgeous. They're a very slight metallic. They're this really rich red. If you ever have a cherry car and you want to paint it a very nice just eye-catching red, this is the red to go for. This video does not even come close to doing it justice. It's phenomenal, this red color. Um, and it's also the thing that makes this whole figure stand out and look good visually is this, this rocket. If you can see, he also has a little button in the back. If you push the button, that's what makes his rocket come out and it's all manual. There's nothing automatic about it. This thing doesn't shoot. It doesn't do anything. This is it. This is all it does. Once you've pushed that tab in, it stays in. The only way to get it to pop back out is when you put the rocket back in place into his belly. In terms of motion, his head does swivel, and this is the sound. of his arms and his legs feet are on a ball joint oh that's satisfying the arm does come up to about 90 degrees and that's a smooth thing that part doesn't click at all he does have a bit of an issue with balance though surprisingly because his feet are so flat if the feet aren't completely flat he does get a little bit wobbly but he is very, very easy to keep in place. Now for the all-important shooting arm test. And how much does he weigh? He's 8.5 ounces all on his own. Loaded up, he is a solid nine ounces. In terms of height, he's about four and a half inches tall. Without the pilot, with the pilot, he's closer to five. He's very, very poseable as long as he's solid. All in all, he's a very, very cute little toy. Even though there are these other toys in this series, they're done in vinyl, so they don't have quite that oomph that the nice Chogokin does. Final thoughts. Should you buy this? Absolutely. freaking lootly do you like robots? Do you like Mazinger Z? Do you like pandas? This is up your alley. It's starting to become a hard to find toy. At the time that I recorded this, you couldn't even get a used one on Amazon. On eBay right now, they're retailing for over 200 bucks. Considering this thing was less than $60 when it was released, that's like a huge freaking jump. So yes, if you can find one in good shape, I would absolutely get one. If you can get one of the more rare silver or scarlet ones, get one. These are very, very cute. You know, do they transform or anything? No, but they are really cute. And they come in this little cute bleh. <laughs> So did you like my little robot guy, girl, whatever? I think she's cute. It, whatever. Never mind. This back wing, the blark, blark. <laughs> There's all kinds of really good clean details in there. You can see all these buttons and everything. <laughs> really? So okie dokie, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a ton for watching. Thanks for staying until the end. If you happen to have one of these toys, I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment below. There are links to this toys and others in the description below. Remember please to subscribe and click that bell to get notified about future videos. And you can click here to watch a different vid. See you next time. Thanks, bye.